Ooh. So a woman found out that uh, there was a certain possibility that uh, the children that she was bearing, that they were not aligning genetically with the probabilities that she was leading herself to believe were the operations that she was engaged within. This is from Truth Fairy, a woman sues Truth Theory. I think I said Fury. 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 Woman sues fertility doctor who used his own sperm to impreg. <laughs> oh gosh. Impreg it's not funny. Not funny. I apologize. A California. Whoop, this is written by Mayuk Saha. Mayuk Saha. Oh, you don't have a little image that pops up. I like to put faces to people's names. A California woman has sued her fertility doctor on the accusation of medical rape. Really hardcore. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Catherine Richards, the mother of two, has explained how the mother of two. That's really significant here has explained how the doctor had used his own sperm to impregnate her without consent. The incident was apparently repeated two times. One of Catherine's children is Julie Droyer. Julia. Julie. And she had, uh, well, she'd recently gone for one of these at-home DNA tests, and when the test results returned, she was quite confused. Soon the family figured out the children were carrying the DNA of the fertility doctor whom the mother had consulted 40 years back. That was, was not good. I guess this is the mother. She does not look happy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I have, I have delivered into this world a child. From a man who will. That's pretty messed up if you're the kid. I mean, it's messed up if you're the mom. And I, you know, my empathy goes out to you, ma'am. Because, you know, there by the grace of God, I could easily be in your circumstance in another metaphorical manner. Not quite the same way because I'm not a female. So I don't think anybody can impregnate me against my will or even with my will. And this young lady here, I think, wow, that's that's where it's uh, it's, it's weird. It's when you come from parent or a parent in this case. Nothing against you, mom. You look like a wonderful mom. You look like the kind of mom that um, uh, definitely likes to to uh, got a lot of frozen fish on Wednesdays. I feel like she's a frozen fish Wednesdays and live liver Thursdays type of mom. Got that feeling. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But the girl, she does not look happy. They caught her in the midst of a... <laughs> Why would you pick this picture? Why would you even pick this picture? These are not the best pictures of either one of these folks. I mean, I'm just getting a tiny little snapshot. This might not even reflect, like, I can see things in their faces that might not actually reflect who they are because you can freeze anybody's face. You have to look at the totality of the flow to figure out the, uh, the character alignments. You can't really necessarily judge by the face alone. They picked those faces, which is kind of, kind of jerkensteining of, come on, who picked these pictures? Who picked these pictures? Come on. I like Truth Theory, by the way. I really do. Truth Theory is cool. I trust, by and large, as, as much as I trust anyone, which is, I don't even trust myself. So, but, but I certainly, you know, CNN or Truth Theory, totally Truth Theory, any freaking day of the week. So there you go. There's that. And there's a little bit of this. All right, let's just take a little bit of listen to this one. Nice music. 1100 KNZZ, dependable weather. Sunny for Thursday, Grand Junction Delta. It's becoming more real. It's still yes. not real, 100%. Like shadows. Chance of showers Thursday night. Shadows. Secrets creep slowly. I'm ready for it not to be a secret, though. Imperceptibly, until one day. I'm tired of the secret. The secret conceals. Dr. Jones? Conceals Dr. everything. Jones. Hi, I'm Chris Vanderveen with Nine News. You got a moment? I want to know his motivation, why he did it. I, is it a lie? It could be. 
What does that mean? I don't deny it. I am not going to tell you anything. There he is. There he is. A little teaser there. Did a fertility doctor use his own sperm to impregnate multiple women? A lawsuit alleges that a Colorado doctor offered this is from when is this? Oh, come on. What date is this? What date did you put this up here? December 4th, 2019. Oh, yeah. The message arrived. The message arrived in the inbox of Maya Emmett's Boring's AnstrusAncestry.com account shortly before midnight on the last day of 2018. It looks like we're close matches, so I'm assuming we're half siblings, wrote the stranger. Assuming that might not be the actual accurate depiction of how the stranger would have written that or heard that in their head when they wrote it. Emmons Boring quietly removed. You know what? When your last name is Emmons Boring, it's like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You own that. Own that. My last name is Emmons Boring. Come at me. I would not come after Emmons Boring, I tell you that. Quietly removed herself from New Year's Eve party and began researching the reliability of Ancestry's DNA testing. <sighs> it had to be a scab. And then stuff, and then, and then, and then, and then. Dr. Paul Brennan Jones of Grand Junction emerges. And uh, what a surprise. Might not be the only one. The lawsuit maintains Emmons boring and her assistance of at least five previously unknown half siblings. <laughs> this man pursued, I believe we are at our core, most all of us, not all probably, but like 99.999% of us. We have apex existentialities that we pursue and across these uh, three uh, planes of exis existentiality. There's the ideational, there's the physiological, and the genetic. Guess which one this guy is pursuing? <laughs> The genetic baby. I can put my seed all up in that world and plays. I mean, the kids are here. What are you going to do? He succeeded. No matter what, he succeeded. I mean, you could take him out now. You could totally, you could put him down like a, like a, like a rabid dog. Or you could lock him in a cage for the rest of his life. But uh, the deed is done. He done did it. He succeeded. He's a winner. He's a winner. Subjectively speaking, he won. Nothing you can do can touch him. Just, just, uh, what's this? What's this? Look at all this. What is all this stuff? This is crazy. This is from the Atlantic. Sarah Zhang wrote this. The first Facebook message arrived when Heather Wook was packing for vacation in August 2017. It was from a stranger claiming to be her half-sibling. She assumed the message was some kind of sin. Her parents had never told her she might have a sibling. But the message contained one detail that spooked her. The sender mentioned a doctor. Donald Clinic. That's right. Yeah. We're not talking about the uh, the previous folks. We're talking about another one. Another one. This story's from... Uh, it's updated uh, March 2018. I don't know when it originally uh, was, uh, was. It says here 2019-04 on top of the archive link. But I, it says it was updated... March 18th, 2019. So this is April. So this is April. I'm assuming April or March. March. Different case. Different case. Different case. And then we have right over here. What's this? Oh my gosh. French fertility guru accused of raping patients at clinic used by Carlo Bruni tells trial he may have fathered some of his clients' children. Wow. Andre Hazut So yo man I didn't I didn't Um listen man I didn't rape them but I did have sex with them The obstetrician admit has, has admitted he may have fathered his clients children Apex existential genetic oh man I'm winning I'm winning no matter what I won Doesn't matter once I've done it I've won I've won I mean that's I mean, really. I mean, just, just listen. All of this, all of this, just so that I can come back to you and I can say this, my friends. First off, you should go to wirewatch.news. That's where I get all the links. I go to wirewatch.news and I get all my links because I run wirewatch.news. So what a 
This is where I uh, I aggregate my news, and you'll see that I got this story. If you look in the briefs, you keep on going down. I got it right here. A woman sues fertility doctor who used his own sperm to impregnate her twice. So basically, the bottom line is this, folks. When you're going to select your fertility doctor, you're going to have to figure that there is at least a, realistically, who knows? It might be one in a gazillion chance, who knows? Or it could be 50-50. I prefer to think it's 50-50 because it's more entertaining that way. But I don't want to besmirch fertility doctors. I'm just suggesting, you know what, that maybe it's 50-50. And that's a realistic expectation for the joke, okay? Now you, now you ruin the joke for you. You know what, just do that. Let's just pretend you didn't hear so you walk into a fertility doctor and you know you gotta you gotta take it as a given it's 50 50 chance the baby's gonna be his so dude it's very simple when you when you meet a fertility doctor there's like 10 or 15 questions that you're gonna want to ask him and i can give this to you i'm gonna give you this how to be sure that your fertility doctor might be potentially a good donor and then you can determine if then you're then it's a win-win and you have nothing to lose you don't have to worry about it out of sight out of mind don't worry about it kids who's your dad listen man we don't talk about that your dad is whatever i say your dad is your dad is whatever i say it is and you just keep that authority on that kid and you just clamp down on their neck and you say yo don't try to find out who you are biologically i will literally i will literally end you and you just keep it at that i'm just kidding of course <laughs> Just kidding. It's these are the jokes. Well, probably not not a funny joke, is it? But I just think it's amusing that we have a multiplicity of these stories. And here we go. Here, here we go again with these guys. For her till it dies in ladies against their will. I didn't even try to rhyme. That's how clever I am. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Somebody has to.